Ahead of the 2016-17 season, the EFL made groundbreaking changes to the Checker Trade Trophy format. What people tend to forget is that this competition was really struggling. The attendances were on the decline. Clubs' interest in participating was probably at an all-time low. And there comes a point where you need to play competitive men's football. The changes included 16 invited teams from clubs with Category 1 academies, the first time in the competition's history. You know, the AFL have slowly started to try and affect things with some rule changes as well as the checker trade competition. It's important that the AFL uh, are brave and try new things. The moment that, um, that academy teams were allowed participation in the, the checker trade trophy it was one that we were all for. The aim was simple to bring more competitive game time to our country's promising youngsters, raise the profile of the competition and showcase the benefits to fans up and down the country. However, the changes were not universally accepted by clubs and fans. I think, you know, the format early on had certain flaws. I think the main one has been the strictness of, of, of the squads that you have to play. They, they were ironed out and I think it's a really competitive competition. Fair play to the EFL, they asked the clubs what was wrong, the clubs told them. They put it right. It's always had a big profile around League One and League Two. And actually what we're hoping to be able to do is to get the competition back into the fans' minds in that same way as it was before. This is not a way of trying to eke B teams into the EFL. We all believed it was a really sensible way forward to reinvigorate a competition but actually address a fundamental issue that had been raised, getting young players valuable first team opportunities. Scunthorpe United's George Thomas, currently on loan from Premier League Leicester City, won the competition in 2017 with Coventry City, scoring in the final. I could talk about this goal all day. I remember it so clearly. As soon as the first touch shot killed it dead, I don't know, I just, I just hit it. There's Kyle Reid, George Thomas, lovely first touch, brilliant second! to celebrate in front of all of those fans. It was, uh, i say, it was the best moment of my life. I probably wouldn't have got my chance in the league without uh, the Checker Trade Trophy, to be honest. They were the times I was getting my full 90s, but the Checker Trade is where I scored my goals and where I uh, really got a chance to prove myself. In 2018, the Checker Trade Trophy was won by Danny Cowley's Lincoln City on their Wembley Stadium debut. It was great to get to Wembley. That was, that was a fantastic achievement in itself. Once you're there you want to win and we knew it would be really tough. It took nearly 30,000 to, to Wembley which is amazing and it just says how important um, Lincoln is to, to the people. Current Peterborough United Director of Football Barry Fry has been in the game for over 50 years and has seen firsthand the value of success in the competition. The EFL Trophy is a magnificent, magnificent competition. Every club financially got more money and if you're in League One or Two mate you need as much money as you can get. So if we get to Wembley and get more money we can Im improve things not only on the field but off the field as well. We were training at a school and at an army barracks and between the two the Czech Trade Trophy money and the FA Cup money has, has allowed us to be able to build an, our own training ground. It's going to be huge for us to be able to develop players individually and, and the team collectively is going to be a crucial part of that. 20 out of 23 England players at the World Cup came through EFL academies or made their professional debut in either the EFL or an EFL competition. The EFL is proud of the impact its competitions are having on the England national team. A lot of the current England squad have had experience in lower league football. I think if you spoke to all of the players in our squad um, that would have been a key part of their, their development journey. It's realistic competitive game time for all our squad. It's realistic competitive game time for our younger players. We're a very well supported club, the fans are magnificent here. The trip to Wembley is, is a massive thing because clubs like ourselves take 30, 40, 45,000 to that. For us it's, it's all about the, the level of competition. Our younger players have the opportunity to play against senior players, get an opportunity to play at stadiums that, that, that haven't played. If they're not playing in front of stadiums where there is a, a, a decent crowd, it doesn't replicate that atmosphere and that experience that we're trying to create. We need fans to support the competition and in doing so, actually support their club. This club is a real community-based club. I think fans up and down the land, they all love 
a local boy uh, made good. So if we create you know, enough pathways for young players, it will pay its benefits to, to our game, certainly to the national teams. Opportunities for young English players are getting rarer and rarer for people to be thinking creatively about how we resolve that situation. As a governing body, we, we welcome that. Certainly I've seen development in our academy. I think it would be impossible for me to and not say that the checker trade played a part in that. We see it as a really positive competition and I, and, and I for one, um, I'm, I'm glad we're in it. You know, to have all your supporters prepare for a, for a cup final at Wembley. I mean, who doesn't want to lead the team out there? And we really encourage supporters, not just of Lincoln City, but all supporters to, to really get behind their teams in, in what is a fantastic competition. The fans are a massive part of actually helping the EFL achieve our objectives of creating genuine first team opportunities in a first team environment in the Czech Trade Trophy.